Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at how you feel about each other, what are the energies between you, what do you need to know. As always, these readings are meant to be for the Sagittarius Collective, so it will not resonate 100% with every Sagittarius watching, so take what resonates for you. Alright, so let's jump right in for Sagittarius. What do we need to know for Sagittarius regarding the person they are thinking about connecting with at this time? What do we need to know about this connection, about these energies between Sagittarius and this other person? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? the energies between you we have the six of swords and the three of pentacles okay well, that's interesting because the six of swords is like you're leaving something behind you're transitioning into some thing more stable something more um, peaceful calmer and the three of pentacles is like working together collaborating putting in work or effort so it could be that someone wants to work things out with you and head towards something more stable, or perhaps you are headed somewhere where um, on the other side of this is someone that's willing to work on things, putting equal effort. We'll see, because it's, you know, it's the first two cards, so let's see what your energy is like. Justice, Libra energy there. Death, wow, Scorpio energy. So an ending, a change, a transformation that's in your best interest or in your favor. Final decision of some sort as well. Four of Cups on your person's side. This could be somebody you're dealing with now or will be dealing with in the future. And the Knight of Pentacles. So they're thinking about an offer here. Something that leads to... to um, leads to a, a, a stable connection overall energy at the bottom of the deck the nine of swords is this someone that's anxious worried there's anxieties there's stress fears and that's like the root of this reading why everything is happening okay we'll have to see what that's all about let's get some energies out here Get some insight, please. Some energies for Sagittarius, please. I also find it fascinating that you're the, on your side is the major arcanas, and that those are the only major arcanas so far. Major shifts in energy on your end. Okay, we get some insight, please, for Sagittarius and this other person. What's the main energy? The main energy between these two tied up. Trapped, stuck, burdened. You're trapped in a situation and are looking for a way out. Standing firm at the bottom of the deck. Courage, defense. You know, someone might have to be brave to get out of this situation. Okay, let me get a Ever After Oracle. These are two new decks that I'm playing with today. Um, they're not available just yet. I'm still kind of tweaking them and then I'll be making the full order because I will be selling these on my Etsy. So when that happens, I will announce it on my channel. But for now, I am just playing around with them, tweaking them, and I'm really enjoying using them. All right, so we're gonna get some insight, please, for Sagittarius Spirit. What do we need to know about this connection? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this connection, please? What do we need to know about this connection? For Sagittarius, please, and this other person. Secret Grotto, keepsakes, gifts, mementos. Someone could be thinking about making you an offer here. Also, there could be like photos or things like that that someone's thinking about, memories that you have with this other person, or just something special they want to give you, like an actual gift. What else do we need to know about this other individual? What else do we need to know? About the energies between Sagittarius and this person. Goblin, untrustworthy, trickster, avoidant. 
Interesting. There's someone that you can't really trust. And bottom of the deck, we have storybook, romance, romance, chemistry, mutual feelings. So I feel like there's definitely a strong connection here, but I also feel like there's someone in your midst that's not very trustworthy. That is avoiding an issue, avoiding a problem. Let's clarify, because now I'm curious. What the heck is going on here? For Sagittarius, please, sir. Can I get some insight, please? Ow. Let's start with the Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Why is the Nine of Swords here? Eight of Pentacles. Work, effort, putting an energy into something. Someone could be worried that another person's not putting an energy into something or worried that they can't put an energy into something. Judgment. Why am I hearing, like, the energy I'm getting here is that someone needs to make a final decision about something. And I don't, I'm trying to figure out what this is because it feels very serious. Someone could be anxious about the decisions they have to make. Someone could be feeling anxious or stressed out because another person is not delivering on promises they've made, you know, to work on something or to put in effort. There's a couple ways to interpret this. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? The Page of Swords. Communication, truth, having a discussion, talking things out. I feel like you and another person are going to be discussing the effort that needs to be put into something or the lack of effort. This could also be judgment. It could be also a second chance. Someone could be worried that they're not going to have a second chance despite the fact that they're putting in effort and want to talk about it. Let's see, what's the Three of Pentacles about? Why is the Three of Pentacles here? For Sagittarius, why is the Three of Pentacles here? Wow, the Tower, holy crap. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck and the Ace of Wands back to back with the Page of Pentacles. Okay, Tower with Aces. So this is something tumbling down some sort of big reveal, something shocking, something unexpected with the tower. But I feel like it's bringing, it's opening a door. Let's get one more. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Why is the Three of Pentacles here? The Knight of Pentacles again. So... It could be that someone um, surprises you with this offer. There's the Ace of Cups again. This person could be surprising you with this Knight of Pentacles. Maybe because, and there's there's two, two ways that I feel like this is a surprise. It could be a surprise because there's already a third party. So, you know, you're not expecting it, you know, because there's already some sort of interference that exists. Because I have tied up here, you know, I have to think about that. So that's one scenario. But the other scenario that I'm seeing here is almost like you're not expecting an offer from this person. You know? Let's see. Why, why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? The Ten of Wands. Why is the Six of Swords here? The Knight of Wands. Someone's leaving a burden behind. There's the Five of Swords. And I don't think that they're going to be looking very great by doing that. It's almost like they leave something behind, some sort of burden. 
but it's like it doesn't look good like the optics aren't good for that I'm also getting someone leaving some drama behind conflict behind um, there's action behind this departure so it's someone actively leaving something behind this could be you this could be your person One way to interpret this is that, you know, when I look at all of this together, someone's departure could be unexpected, but they feel like they have to do that. They're anxious about it. They're stressed about it, but it's almost like that's the judgment call they're making. That's one way to interpret this. And it's a difficult judgment call. And I feel like they're going to make enemies because of it, or they're going to be seen as a villain. Let's look at your energies over here. I have you on the left, Sagittarius, and your person on the right. Feel free to flip these energies if they resonate more for you. Tell me about justice. Tell me about justice. The Six of Swords. Six of Swords shows up again. Tell me about justice. The moon, Pisces energy. See, there's something like that you can't see on the surface. You can't see at surface level. Something that's hidden. An illusion of some sort. Pisces energy, if I didn't say that already. But, you know, when I see just, when I see a card like the moon, which is about like what's hidden, illusions hidden underneath the surface, where you can't see what, what's unclear. When I see it with a card like justice, there is no, it, it doesn't matter in a way, like you will have justice no matter what happens or you would be able to see right through this. So when I see this with the six of swords here, if I could just get my words out because I can't freaking like talk. <laughs> when I see all of these energies together, I think of someone who was able to see through something, um, was able to understand something or they don't care that they don't understand it because they're going to be doing what's right for them. You know, that those are the interpretations that I can think of here, especially with the Six of Swords, because Six of Swords is like you leave the BS in the past. You don't look back. And when I have a Six of Swords with Justice, it's like you really do not look back. Like, like, just, like Justice is like, Justice doesn't care about your feelings. It cares about the facts. It cares about the objective view of things, what the evidence says, what the truth is, you know, justice is not an emotional energy. So I feel like if someone has, if this is your energy, which I feel it is, I feel like you are moving past something or leaving something behind, or this person is thinking of you doing this. And maybe that's where the anxiety is coming from. You know, take this as a resonance because I'm reading for a collective. So all of your stories are obviously not going to be the same. Um, but I feel like you already know this person. I feel like there's already a stuck energy here. And I'm also, like, uh, from what I see already here, it's like there's already been a burden or something that is coming down, toppling down. So I don't know if this is something that's happening between you and this person. Or if this is happening outside of your connection but affecting your connection, right? Because you have to look at it in that way. All I can tell you is that there's someone here that you can't really trust. And I don't know if it's your person or someone like in between you, but it's making things difficult. And I'm wondering if you don't want to deal with this, right? Sagittarius, like I'm wondering if this is some like a burden you want to leave behind because I'm looking at the six of swords with these other two energies. And then you also have death. Can I get one more um, or can I get a clarifier for death? Why is death here? For Sagittarius, why is death here? For Sagittarius. Okay, I got two. King of Swords. Again, no emotion here. This is all about facts, logic, clear, direct communication, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy there, and the Seven of Wands. Again, like back off, defense, courage, standing firm. Um, King of Swords, Seven of Wands together. I think of someone that cannot be swayed. They're, they're, they cannot be convinced otherwise. Um, this is very interesting energy. I'm trying to figure out what is going on here, Sagittarius. If you 
feel comfortable sharing in the comments, feel free um, to let me know what's going on there. Let me get one more. I want to get one more energy for Justice and the Death card together. Spirit, can you tell me about Justice and Death, please? Justice and Death. What can you tell me? Strength, Leo energy. Someone being very strong. Someone having control. Inner strength. And then there's the hangman. So, okay, again, so many ways that I can interpret this, and I know that that's annoying, and it already happened with Leo, so I don't know what's going on tonight, but sometimes that happens with the tarot, because there is no tarot card that's so specific that will resonate with, you know, a very specific situation, right? Like, there's no tarot card for, like, divorce, right? Or, like, meddling stepsister, you know what I mean? Like, or um, something like that. Um so I feel like what's happening here is that Sagittarius, your energy, because this is your energy for me, is of like very rigid, strong, tough. You have a card about an ending here with death. You have a card about a departure. So I'm thinking you are the one making some sort of call to leave a situation. And this could have happened already. Or this could be something you're thinking about now. But you're seeing something differently with the hangman, you know? And I feel like your energy is now starting to make sense as to why someone's terrified. I feel like this Nine of Swords is someone that is worried about your decision. You know, maybe you talk about something and you're with the King of Swords or like, this is my decision. I am not walking back from this decision, right? Maybe this decision is making this person work harder or want to work on things, want to kind of put a band-aid on things, want to fix things. Because they have the Knight of Pentacles over there with the Four of Cups, so I'm thinking they might be worried about rejection with the Four of Cups. Maybe they took too long to do something. Tell me about the Four of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles, please. Tell me about the Four of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. The Lovers, Gemini Energy. Tell me about the Four of Cups. And the Knight of Pentacles, what do we need to know? Three of Cups. Coming together, a reunion. Tell me about the Four of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles, please. The Hermit, Virgo energy. Withdrawn, listening to their intuition. The Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. And behind that, the Five of Wands. There could have been an argument or this person's worried about an argument. I feel like this person, you know what I'm starting to think? It's not that they're untrustworthy or a trickster, but maybe they're avoiding facing you or avoiding facing the truth about something or not wanting to address something that needs to be addressed, not wanting to like face the music in some way. You know, it's like they're withdrawn. They're, they're running away in a way. What a great sentence. <laughs> Let's get some PS I love yous here and get some insight into how you feel about each other. Spirit, tell me about Sagittarius. Tell me about Sagittarius, please. I should have told you how I felt when I had the chance. This person, this could be what this person is telling you, Sagittarius, or how you feel. Maybe you, you feel like you would want to go back in time in a way because I have here I wish I could go back in time at the bottom of the deck I should have told you how I felt back then I wish I could go back in time to do that right this could be how you're feeling can I get one more for Sagittarius please what do we need to know irreplaceable so you are one of a kind unique there's no one like you, no one that compares to you. I wish I could tell you how I feel is at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this person, um, maybe they are thinking they might lose you here. You're irreplaceable. Maybe they tried to replace you and they couldn't. Tell me about this other person. What do we need to know about this other person and their energies towards Sagittarius? Faded love. So your love is faded, destined, or this person feels that way. 
Tell me more about this person. What are they? they have the lovers, so definitely. How do they feel about Sagittarius? What's their energy towards Sagittarius? I know what love is because of you. Interesting. Very, very interesting. And then other half at the bottom of the deck. So very like soulmate energy here with faded love and other half. I know what love is because of you. Uh, it's interesting because on their side, I don't really see, you know, I don't really see much. I don't know. Like their energy is very weak in a way. Not that their feelings aren't strong. But it's like this doesn't feel like enough for some reason. And I don't know why I'm getting that. It's almost like they're they're far away like this hermit. Their feelings are far away. Their energy is far away. Despite the fact that they, you know, it's, it's like they're saying things. But I, I'm getting this energy of like that's not really enough. What's behind that? I don't have the courage to face you and lessons learned. So this person's probably learning some difficult lessons. I feel like they haven't been able to be honest with you about something or to face you to address something head on. Let me know if that's resonating in the comments, but I think that's a problem for you because you're irreplaceable, right? Like you are not someone that can be replaced. And when you're gone, what are they gonna do, right? Or if you've already been gone and you already left in the past, they're struggling with that. You know, I feel like if, if they look to replace you, they couldn't. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Hopefully that resonated for you, that crazy reading that was all over the place. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if it did. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the reading. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.